hello there welcome to synconics so in this video we will see that how we can configure incoming as well as outgoing email servers right so uh, basically uh, to send emails or to receive emails uh, through various activities uh, done by Udo so uh, it must uh, be needed to configure incoming as well as outgoing email servers suppose uh, when when you want to uh, receive some emails for your customers then you have to configure incoming email server as well as when you want to send quotations uh, send invoices right to your customers or uh, same as for the vendors processes uh, for manufacturing operations so there are different kinds of operations where we need to send emails and send various activities logs to uh, our clients our customers so that's why we have to also configure our outgoing email servers also right so let's see that uh, how we can uh, manage those email servers so first of all we will go to settings and we are showing you that we are using Udo version 13 enterprise edition all right so uh, for uh, that we have to first of all uh, activate the developer mode so we will activate the developer mode so as you can see that activated the developer mode okay so from settings itself we will go to technical settings and then we will go for incoming mail servers or outgoing mail servers so first of all we will go to incoming mail servers and we'll configure one email server so we are configuring one email server so we will write like uh, the title that is gmail and the server type uh, we can uh, configure multiple server types like pop server imap server local server so we will configure here pop server and we will uh, write the server name okay as per uh, different servers configurations email servers configurations uh, you have to write their uh, particular uh, uh, server information server name over here okay then we will enable ssl tls all right after that we will test and confirm so as you can see that I have confirmed incoming email server so to fetch uh, any kind of information from your email server to Udo you have to click on fetch now option or you can also enable uh, uh, and uh, configure the scheduler for fetching informations from email uh, incoming email servers to Udo all right now we have to go to outgoing email servers and configure one so we will configure SMTP server as an outgoing email server okay After that we will click on test connection so as you can see that everything seems properly set up okay so basically your incoming email server as well uh, as well as outgoing email servers are successfully configured over here so let's take an example of uh, outgoing email servers let's go to settings sales and uh, send one sample quotation to a customer okay we will create one quotation sample quotation Mm, I will select here uh, customer married Costa. so by going to the detailed view of my customer as you can see that I have configured my another email ID over here okay so I will take one product all right 
right save this and send by email so i will gonna send this uh, uh, sales quotation to my this customer mary de costa and send this So now quotation is sent successfully to my customer Mary Decosta. Now I will go to this Mary Decosta Gmail account and as you can see that she has received my sales quotation. So by clicking on that as you can see that sales quotation and this sales quotation related PDF is also attached with this email. Alright so now uh, like this you will be able to configure and manage different kinds of incoming as well as outgoing email servers so if you want to also configure more email servers here so you can also configure multiple email servers as incoming as outgoing email servers so that's it for how we can manage different email servers over here thank you for watching